How are you? Hey, how are you? How are you really feeling? If you're watching this video, you've probably gone through a difficult event. Maybe you're feeling scared, confused, angry, or worried. When difficult events happen, we can feel many different emotions. Emotions are how we feel about people, places, things, and events. Learning about our emotions can help us understand how you really feel. When you know how you really feel, you can express your feelings in healthy ways and find ways to help you feel better. Learning about emotions can also help you understand how other people are feeling. Emotions are a big part of life. Everyone has emotions. During good times, we might feel happy when we're with people we love, or we might feel proud when we reach a goal, or we might feel calm and relaxed when we're doing something that we like to do. But during or after a difficult event, we might feel some uncomfortable feelings. We might feel worried or confused if something is happening that we don't understand. We might feel scared or unsafe if something or someone is hurting us or someone else. Or we might feel sad or angry if we lose someone or something that we love. Sometimes, especially during difficult times, it may be hard to know what we're feeling. Let's look at some ways to help identify our emotions and the emotions of others. People often show their emotions in their faces, with their bodies, and in their behaviors or actions. For example, when someone is sad, they might frown and hang their heads down. Sometimes when people are sad, they might cry. And sometimes when people are sad, they wanna be alone. Or if someone is angry, they might squint their eyes and furrow their brows. They might cross their arms, stomp their feet, yell, or even hit. Or if someone is scared, they might raise their eyebrows and open their mouths in an O shape. Their bodies might shake and they might fidget nervously. These are some common ways that people might show their emotions. But sometimes when a person is feeling uncomfortable or not sure how they're feeling, they might act silly. They might do and say things that seem strange to you. And sometimes when a person doesn't feel safe, they don't show their feelings at all. They may feel sad or scared, but they smile and pretend that everything is okay. Because we are all different and experience situations differently, we will all have different emotions and different ways to show our emotions. For example, a quiet person might get even more quiet when they're sad or scared. But someone else might talk loudly or yell when they're sad or scared. Emotions are our body's response to what is going on around us, and all emotions are okay. When you feel a strong or confusing emotion, pause and take a couple of deep breaths. Taking a couple of deep breaths helps to calm your brain so that you can think more clearly. Then ask yourself how you feel and try to name the emotion. Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling worried? Are you feeling angry? Once you name the emotion, say to yourself, it's okay that I feel this emotion because all emotions are okay. It can also be helpful to talk to an adult that you trust about how you're feeling. Talking about our emotions can help the emotions not feel so strong. Talking about our emotions can also help other people understand how you're feeling. When other people understand how you're feeling, they're better able to help you feel better and more importantly, keep you safe. Sometimes it's hard to know how you feel, especially when you've gone through or are going through something scary. But talking about your emotions can help you feel better and get you the help that you need. When we learn to identify and accept our emotions, we can express our feelings in healthy ways that will help get what we need to feel safe so that we can look forward to happier times.